Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how can we perform different arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, absolute difference on a given fragment of image in digital image processing. In this case, we have been given uh, two fragment of images that is F1 and F2 with uh, the pixel values here. Given these two fragment of uh, images, uh, we need to perform the different arithmetic operations. So first one is the addition. So what we need to do is uh, we need to, uh, whenever we want to perform F1 plus F2, that is the addition of uh, these two things, uh, uh, we need to add the corresponding pixel values. That is 10 uh, plus uh, 40. That is what I have written here. 40 plus uh, 140. That is what I have written here. Similarly, we need to perform uh, the addition with respect to corresponding pixel values. We will be getting this uh, answer in this case. Now, uh, there is one thing we need to remember. If this uh, image is 16-bit, uh, uh, then we will be getting 2 raised to 16 possibilities. Then all these values are valid here. But whenever we have 8-bit uh, for each uh, pixel, uh, 2 raised to 8 is equal to 256. That means we can have values in the range of 0 to 255 here. So that's the reason. Whenever we have uh, such kind of things, what we need to do is uh, the values which are more than uh, what you can say that uh, 255, we need to truncate them to 255 in this case. So this particular 260 has to be truncated to 255 over here. So that is the one thing we need to remember whenever we perform addition of uh, two fragment of uh, images in this case. Uh, that is uh, the number of units uh, used to represent each pixel should be known to us. Based on that, we can uh, make a decision in this case. The next one is uh, the subtraction. Uh, subtraction in this case is uh, F1 minus F2. Uh, F1, the first pixel is 10. Uh, the F2's first pixel is 40 here. So 10 minus 40, that's the first one. 40 minus 140, second one. 30 minus 90 and so on. So once you calculate it, we will be getting minus 30, minus 100, minus 60 here. Similarly, we have some different values in this case. Now, one thing you can notice, uh, we cannot have negative values for any pixel. So, whenever we have negative values, we need to uh, convert them to zero in this case. Similarly, in the previous case, as I said earlier, if any value which is more than 255, we need to truncate to 255 because uh, we have only 8 bits to represent each pixel. 8 bit means we can have only 0 to 255 in this case. If it is more than 255, we need to truncate it here. If it is more than 8 bit, like 16 bits are there, 260 is a valid number. There is no need to do any truncation over there. Similarly, uh, in this case, we have minus 30. Minus 30 should be converted to 0. Minus 100 should be converted to 0 and so on. So after performing all these things, we are getting the subtracted image over here. Now, the third uh, arithmetic operation is uh, absolute difference uh, between the two fragment of images. That is, uh, absolute difference between F1 minus F2 is equal to Absolute difference between uh, 10 and 40, that is 10 minus 40, which is equal to 30. So that is what I have written here. Absolute difference between uh, 40 and 140, which is equal to 100. Absolute difference between 30 minus 90, which is equal to 60 and so on. So once you perform uh, the absolute difference between the uh, corresponding pixels, this is the final image what we are getting in this case. So this is how we can perform the different arithmetic operations on the given fragment of images in digital image processing. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.